So what do you do when you have beliefs that work against you? Esther likes that song. She only knows one line from it. I should have just gone to bed. <laughs> Instead of talking, talking, talking all night long and running her off, I should have just stopped talking. And so that's a really good thing. Stop taking score of what is, unless it feels really good. You could have five active subjects in your life, like finances, things that are meaningful to you that you are doing, interests, relationships, things to do with your physical body. You could have several subjects active and four of them, four of the five could be working not the way you want right now. And one could be working the way you want. And if you would give most of your attention to the one that's working, the other four would fall right into line because you'd use that one to be the reason for your broadcast and the reason for your broadcast, no matter what the subject you see, this is important. You don't have to be broadcasting on a specific subject to attract good things on that specific subject. You just can't be broadcasting against something. Did you know that? You didn't know that, did you? That's why you think you've got to be really determined. You think you've got to wrestle it to the ground. You think that you've got to really work hard on it. You just have to get happy about something. Now here's why. Step one is contrast has caused you to become decisive, vibrationally decisive. That's a good word. You have become vibrationally decisive. You don't even know all the things that you've decided because it's been coming so incrementally moment by moment, step by step, all through the days of this life and even before. And you've been broadcasting into your vibrational reality, your vortex of creation incrementally on all levels of your being for longer than we even have time to talk about. And so there it is. You've asked and source lined up with it and law of attraction is attracting to it. And the cooperative components have been gathered. And so it's a done deal vibrationally. So then you say, and wisely so Abraham. So just tell me this one thing, how do I get this amassed fortune out of the vortex and into the bank? How do I make it a reality for me where I can spend it? How do I turn it into the kind of currency that other people recognize? We know you dead guys are all hot on this vibrational currency, but I'd like some cash. <laughs> How do I turn it into something that I can spend? Well, you do that by not contradicting it by focusing upon the fact that you can't see it yet and you can't spend it yet. That's what faith is. It's a feeling about something, even though you can't see it yet. It hasn't translated. It hasn't become vibrationally viable enough that you can translate it through your physical senses. What you see is a translation of vibration. You don't know it because you just do it so easily. What are you doing today? I'm going to go translate some things into vision. I'm looking at that now. I'm looking at that now. You don't do that. You were born vibrationally translating into sight and sound and smell and taste and touch. And you were also born translating through your emotional center, your guidance system to let you know whether you are a match to your own inner being who is a match to this thing that you want or not. You can tell by the way you feel. So since what you want is not vibrationally viable enough. Now, what do we mean by that? It hasn't been focused upon purely enough. It hasn't been focused upon without contradiction long enough that it is a strong enough signal. You have not let it become a strong enough signal that now you can translate it into manifestations. You see, how do you think manifestations get here? You don't know because there were so many here when you got here. And for the most part, ever since you got here, you have just been moving manifestations around from place to place as a human race and fighting over them. But if you will use your reasoning mind, hasn't your economy gotten way bigger than it was? You don't remember, but you could, if you try for a long time, it was just tiger teeth and <laughs> bones and occasional squirrel hide <laughs> way bigger now, way, 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 way bigger now. And nobody's been trucking anything in from other planets. There's no pipelines from other planets. The new stuff get here yet? No, <laughs> got derailed out there somewhere. There's nothing that's being trucked in. You are creating it. It's becoming 
vibrationally viable because you are preparing your receptors to receive it when you ask it is given it is revealed but the question is are you realizing what has been revealed or do you have your I can't do it I can't see it I can't smell it I can't taste it I can't touch it I can't hear it blockade up you see and so oh that was so satisfying to say all of that to you because you heard it didn't you you are the one that translates the vibration into the physical equivalent so by the time you have put all of this in the vortex and law of attraction has answered it and your inner being has stood there with it and has become the vibrational equivalent of it and is broadcasting to you and to the universe a signal about it and law of attraction is responding to that signal there is a powerful attraction to the things that you have become powerful attraction it is huge and it is done and then if you are anywhere in the vicinity of it vibrationally which means if you're just happy today for some reason if you haven't remembered not to be happy in other words your cork will float you can hold it under the water but when you let go it's gonna float back up there so when you stop doing that thing you do that doesn't let your vibration rise your vibration will rise and every now and again you'll just forget to do something stupid like not let it rise and it will rise and for a moment you'll get a glimpse of something you want just for a moment oh I want her I want this I want this don't you know that feeling when you first translate that vortexual creation into something that is meaningful to you when that idea hatches in your mind that's a manifestation now it's not the kind of manifestation you want you don't just want an idea yeah you do you want the idea because you got to have the idea and you got to practice the idea and you got to become familiar with the idea and you got to hold the idea you've got to nurture the idea just like the seed of corn has to be nurtured before it comes into something that you can eat and enjoy so now you have it that's the answer to every question go away now <laughs> and live happily ever after helpful yes but I have uh, yeah so I really helpful but I see more clearly what my desire is but it no, just your feels... desire was already clear your desire could not be more clear you do not need to work more on your desire your desire is so wonderful you will live happily 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 ever after the desire isn't the part that you want or need to spend one more moment about how do I get more attuned with the desire it just feels like I'm f missing a 5% of for the now get off of it get off of it because if you get right on it you'll just keep doing what you've been doing so you want to step back from it and the way you get off of it the way you get off of something that you can't get off of when you're obsessed with something and you can't stop thinking about it and you know you're working against yourself get general say things like all in good time this was a good experience I'm getting clearer I trust the laws of the universe it's gonna be all right the perfect person is already ready to come to me I'm just getting ready I'm just becoming more aware there's no big rush all is well I'm enjoying the process I love the clarification of the process everything's all right what fun I'm having anything that I've spent time becoming vibrationally attuned to causes a really lovely journey I love that sweet spot I love that feeling of anticipation that feeling of anticipation that feeling of turning a corner and wondering now now maybe I love that feeling of anticipation that feeling of recognition that feeling of mutual attraction that knowing that law of attraction has put us together not that I have kidnapped this person <laughs> that feeling of law of attraction putting this together that mutual delicious attraction yeah so you just cool your jets chill out trust be easy notice what is working notice the components of what's working and why two days in a row Esther has put her breakfast card out on her door and she ordered oatmeal 
That's all she wanted in a banana. And so yesterday the nice man came and he had a big pile of food. It had bacon and eggs and toast and juice and coffee, which she doesn't drink. And he set it down and Esther said, Hmm, all I ordered was oatmeal and banana. And he said, she must have made a mistake when she checked it in. And Esther said, you know, I thought about just taking a picture of that little card I put on the door, but I didn't do it. And so Esther laughed about it. And then last night she filled out her card again. And again, she thought, I'll just take a picture of this. And she said, ah, there's no possibility she could make a mistake two days in a row. <laughs> so breakfast came again and same thing. All these things that she didn't order. But now this man has become wiser. And so he went to get the actual card and he brought the card to Esther. And there was what Esther checked, but there were the other things checked too. And Esther said, somebody's having fun with my card on the door. <laughs> Somebody's having fun with my card on the door. Somebody's having fun with my card on the door. So, yes, just still working through this. In other words, she came to realize that she was eating her oatmeal, that she may have a control issue. Who would do that? And then she said to the man, she said, see my check marks? how they're light this is the pen I used see how they are how they kind of go this way and see how these are straight up and down he said oh yeah I see that <laughs> truly you've been sabotaged <laughs> by one of the fun loving otters of the universe is what Esther is thinking because there isn't anything Esther enjoys more than fun and Esther's a little bit of a prankster so watch your cards on the door <laughs> just watch them you're gonna get way more breakfast tomorrow than you want so what we're getting at is even though someone did have fun with Esther's door card, no question about it. And when you're all gone, we'll tell her which one of you it was. <laughs> There's no question in Esther's mind that she's the attractor of this. It's illogical. She can't reason it out, but she does accept that she is the attractor of this. And as long as she's accepting that she is the attractor of this, then she can have any way she wants in time. If you've been listening to us for a while, you've heard a lot of breakfast stories. <laughs> there was the strawberry jam phase where no matter how big they wrote it on the card, the strawberry jam never came. And when they would go back to the office, because we would blab the story, cases of strawberry jam were showing up in Texas. Cases of little bottles of strawberry jam just kept showing up. Esther could open a strawberry jam store. So much strawberry jam showed up in Texas. And then there was the can't get the eggs cooked soft enough era. And then there was bring my own pot in my own suitcase and cook it on my own plate so they can get my own damn breakfast the way I want it to be era of Esther's breakfast. And then there was the bring a food bar because they're not going to deliver it during the window that is right. Breakfast is hard in hotels. That's Esther's belief, you see. And so doesn't matter what you believe it's going to show up to show you what you believe everything that you believe shows up because a belief is a thought you continue to think and a thought that you continue to think is a vibration that you continue to offer and a vibration that you continue to offer is a vibration that you continue to have as the basis of your point of attraction and that's just how it is you see nice to know